Alrighty, let's have a little look at what's going on here. 103.4. Good morning, gang. 250 grams of spinach, 200 grams of lamb yong fish. Real simple, real easy, mayo, sweet chili sauce, breakfast a champion. Second meal, gang, 150 grams of salted crispy chicken, 150 grams of broccoli, 150 grams of peas. 150, 150, 150. The perfect trifactor right there. Oh, and sweet chili sauce and mayo on top. Okay, let's get into today's workout. Start off by saying that I picked up a small knock <clears throat> my uh, right hamstring slash rear knee area has a injury of some description. Not sure what's going on, <clears throat> but it'll be okay, I'm sure. But I'm just going to take things easy for the next day or two, especially I'm not going to train my hamstrings, just give recovery time. I don't like training hamstrings anyway, so, you know, it's, it's all good. Uh, I did plate shrugs to start off with, an overhead press. Overhead press, 80 kilos, 8 reps. Pretty happy with this set, to be honest. Today's workout was really quick. It only took me an hour from start to finish, and that includes all the time of setting up my camera, warming up. Like, I was like, you know what? I was on a mission. I just wanted to get the workout done relatively quick, and it's a good workout as well. You know what I mean? Like, really, really good workout. Next, I did a rotation of four, set, uh, four sets of leg extensions, uh, flies and reverse flies. Usually I would do 20 by 25 on this machine. I did 20 by 22 and part of the reason why is because again, I'm just taking it a little bit easy, but also I'm doing four sets instead of three. So it's okay just to reduce the uh, rep numbers that you're doing slightly and then just do an extra set. That's totally valid as a technique. Um, on the fly there, you'll notice that I have my hand position uh, not in the standard way, but in the way that you'd hold it reverse fly. Recommend that, it better aligns your chest fibers feels a lot better new outfit as well new new slutty shirt that i thought i'd wear i think it looks pretty good on me this is my favorite exercise isolateral eccentrically overloaded overhead tricep extensions if you can fit these into your program it is like the number one tricep builder i think I, not only is it like the best tricep exercise i would argue it's literally one of the best exercises in terms of something that you can do like it is so primed scientifically for growth it's insane i'll do a full video on it at some point i don't think i've seen anyone else do them i'm not saying it's my exercise but i am also saying that uh, only two sets on those and then two sets of bayesian curls i'm actually recording this the next day my leg feels a little bit better still not going to train hamstrings just yet but feeling pretty good and yeah diet's going okay so thanks for watching guys Hopefully you're uh, training well, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow. Alrighty, just got in from the gym. I'm really happy I managed to find these. They're now at sale at my local supermarket, and they've been really, really difficult to find. I managed to find them like six months ago in this really weird place that doesn't sell them anymore. These are like goated ratios. If you take a look, it's micro protein, which is one of the three best sources of protein. There you go. So you've got like a crazy, crazy ratio. This whole packet is only a thousand kilojoules and you get 36 grams of protein. So yeah, 3.6 ratio, really, really nice. If you can find these, try and get them. Um, so I've just fried them up and I've got 200 grams of vegetable dumplings in there as well. It doesn't look the best, like it's not as, you know, friendly presentation wise as most of my meals, but it's good, it's tasty, and uh, yeah, plenty. Okay, lovers, it is my final meal. I'm having 100 grams of tofu puffs, a radish cake, 30 grams of nuts, half walnuts, half macadamias, a few dates, and a banana. Today, my macros are probably just a bit over 10 and a half thousand, maybe even 11,000 kilojoules which is really, really high for me. That's been the, absolutely the highest that I've had um, in recent history since probably I started this. I am um, looking to slightly increase how much I'm gonna have today, maybe tomorrow, I'm not too sure. On day 30, I'll see where I weigh in. I would like to hit below 100 kilos when I get to, um, Maybe I should put this on my face so I'm not just staring at nothing. There you go, look, that's me. Um, late night me. I would like to hit 100 kilos at the end of day 50. I'd like to do that through fat loss. 
So it's not like I'm going to turn around on day 49 and be like, all right, I'm not going to drink any liquid and I'm just going to lose two kilos of water weight and then I've done it. Like this, this is not, that to me isn't interesting, right? Like I'm trying to, I want to be a hundred, right? I want to be flat a hundred. Now today, like I hurt myself this morning, um, or at least I woke up with a quasi injury. Don't know how bad it is. Don't know what it is, but give myself a, a few days just to recover with that just a slight caloric increase i'm still going to be down on calories in total i believe um so it's not like today is like i'm gaining fat i'll still be in a slight deficit given how much i work out and i'm still i'm a big guy i'm over 100 kilos so my so my tdee is still quite high anyway just going to increase it a little bit see where i am on day 30. if i need to be slightly more aggressive in the last two weeks i can be slightly more aggressive but if the end of 50 days I'm 101 and a half or something, I can just I can just diet for an extra week and it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Or I can sit at 10k calories, uh, so, sorry, 10k kilojoules, and turn around and be like, all right, I'll just I'll just be at this level for the next two weeks and you know just have a cruisy time. We'll see how we go. But yeah, just today it just just felt like eating a little bit more, and that's fine because it will help me adhere for the next couple of weeks which is what's the most important thing, right? And again, still losing weight today, so it's not a big deal.